Hey guys, well this is the owner's manual packet that came with my 74 Plymouth out there and I was got into there, I've went through all that before, mostly that's just license plate receipts and things like that, but um, I thought I'd just show you real quick uh, what you got in your owner's manual packet and back in 1974, of course you have your owner's manual itself valiant duster 1974 plymouth owners uh, excuse me operators manual extra care and engineering it makes a difference well yeah uh, i guess of course it's got just your basic things that you have in an owner's manual brake system warning light headlights uh work the turn signals headlights parking lights Operation of all the different things, shifting, got your oil capacities and that kind of thing. So just general information there, nothing really uh, entertaining at all. There's the back of it. And then we would have a, this is your change of owner name or address, revise 8 of 73 as you'll see there. Print, please print legibly in boxes provided. Now, you younger folks of the cell phone generation, I call it, now, this may traumatize you greatly and confuse you and possibly alarm you, but back in the day, to communicate with any kind of entity, like uh, to send information or to receive information, you actually had to take a pencil I may have one somewhere around in here, a pen, you know, it actually writes, you know, use them to write letters and things like that, and print numbers and letters to make sentences. You've probably seen that done. Um, but you used to actually have to sit somewhere in one place and look at this thing here and actually, now, I'm sorry if this scares you and you, you don't understand this, but I just have to say it like it was. You actually have to take that writing instrument and write with your hand the letters across or numbers or whatever these boxes ask for. Like your initials, your last name. I don't know if anybody's ever had a last name that was this long, possibly so, but <clears throat> street address, city, state of province, zip code, and then you sign it right here. So, you know, I know, like I said, I, I'm. I know it may shock you like nothing has ever shocked you before to think that you actually had to do this, but what I'm about to tell you is even more more shocking. After you got done actually exerting the effort to write on this piece of paper and sign it, and once you managed to struggle through that, you actually had to mail it off. You had to actually go to a post office box, drop it in the post office box, and then walk away. And that's how you actually uh, communicated with these people. You didn't have a cell phone. You couldn't send a text message. You couldn't send an email. It all came through the mail. Every, every bit, besides the television and the radio, every bit of communication that came and went from your house came via or left via the mailbox I just had to say that I know that's kind of you don't may not understand that it may make you want to run screaming through the streets to hear it but that's what happened that's how it was here's an important message from your Chrysler man in Detroit and that's him right there he looks like a crook but that's him Byron J Nichols vice president of office of public responsibility and consumer affairs <laughs> okay Anyway, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Well, if they really cared about us, they would have built better vehicles back then. We worked together to give you satisfaction. <laughs> they knew things sucked back then, didn't they? There's your regional service offices. That's who you fought with whenever your car blew up. So you had that, and then... Um, I'm going to cover his name up here so none of you folks want to bug whoever lives there. This, the man and woman owned that car knew they're dead now. They lived a very long life, but they are passed away now. 
Uh, he worked at a he worked at a steel mill up in Chattanooga. I found a I'll show that to you possibly. I found a negotiation booklet for the union. Chrysler Corporation's warranty and limitation of liability for new 1974 model passenger cars. And of course, you had your VIN number. We we'll won't cover that up. VIN number, purchase date. He bought that car very late in the year, 827-74. I think the new models, the 75s, were just about to come out then. Uh, Harrison Chrysler Plymouth Incorporated, 6164. That was on Market Street. Folder contains vehicle and first owner identification. That's him. Chrysler Corporation's warranty, other warranty information. Oki Harrison Chrysler Plymouth was not in business that long. Examples of items not covered by warranty. Wheels, tires, paint, nah. Items such as the following are not covered. Routine maintenance, replacement items, spark plugs, fuel, air, or oil filters, accident abuse, failure to perform maintenance, normal wear deterioration, hoses, belts. Upstream. Uh, repairs requires as old racing, sustained high speed use, acceleration trials, wide open throttle operation, high speed acceleration, or shifting transmission gears at high engine RPM. <laughs> Just, adjustment of such items as transmission linkage, controls, or bands, brakes, and clutch, loss of engine oil, lubricant, air freeze, refrigerant, removal of engine carbon or sludge. Repairs required as a result of hauling trailers without suitable equipment. So basically, what this means is that the only things they covered back then were if something just out and out failed, like the engine blew, or the alternator burned up, regulator burned up, something like that. Then you had uh, some stuck to the back of this. What is that? That's a okay. That's a. Uh, tag receipt. This is your 74 action accents. This was things that they tried to plug and things stuck to the back and I guess I can open it. There it is. Of course you had uh, just your accessory. You had like uh, suitcases, things for a wagon, things to go on top of a wagon, a uh, litter container, uh, tack, now that's good. They tell you that they're not going to cover the warranty if you're racing it, but of course they'll say you attack. Locking gas cap, tailor hitch, uh, towing mirror, a chronometer. I have one of those somewhere. No, not for that car, but I've got one for a Chrysler. Hey, baby. Is that the Marlboro Man? And then over here you have uh, what's this? Come aboard the Chrysler fleet. The Chrysler crew makes things easy for you. Oh, yeah, this is a boat. You want a Chrysler boat. That's a strange picture, and it looks like there's boats on a beach, and then there's this huge ship coming right for them. <laughs> the new Chrysler fleet's here. Get in on the wonderful world of water fun with a new Chrysler boat, sailboat, outboard, or water skis. Choose from many different exciting new styles, sizes, and power ranges. Just fill in below. Please send me a literature on boats, sailboats, and what we just said. Chrysler Marine. That was a big deal. P.O. Box 2641, Marine Products, Detroit. Place a stamp there, which was probably about five cents back then. Yeah, see what I'm saying? You had to send off for everything back then. That was a big deal. Now, I'll tell you guys. I like ordering cheap things that kind of add to the add to the just the enjoyment of whatever I own. So I sent off for a few things on eBay recently. I got this 1974 Chrysler Plymouth model specifications options for all our new models: Imperial, Chrysler, Fury, Satellite, Duster, Valiant, Barracuda, and the wagons. And I'm not going to cover all this uh, if there's some of this that some of you would like to see specifically go back over it I'll be glad to, to make another video about it so just let me know there's the gold duster there's the wagons like the Brady Bunch wagon and duster now there's the Valiant of course that looks uh, very close to my car essentially the same car Except it's got a white top and it's got white wall tires and there's 
the inside of it. I wish mine had those seats. I'm going to look for a set of those seats. But that's the color of mine. That's frosty green. Cuda. Engine guide. All this stuff. Like I said, I'll be glad to. Uh, I'm glad to go more in depth on these things for a specific one if somebody has that wants to know but like I'll look uh, read you real quick here um, talk about what was optional uh, air conditioning on, on a Valiant a 74 optional air conditioning my car has that uh, axle ratio it has the standard sure grip it does not have that power front disc brakes it's optional it has that four wheel disc you couldn't get those bright bumper guards it does have those now these are all optional things here. Defogger, rear defogger, it does not have that. Uh, tinted glass, it does have that. Hood release inside, it does have that. Light package, it has that. Left remote control mirror, it has that. AM radio, it has that. AM FM, it does not have that. Uh, seat and interior trim, I'm not sure about that. I don't think so. Tough wheel, it does not have that. Uh, special size tires, no. Uh, steel belt radials, that was an optional back then. They came normally with a buy supply. It does not have those. It did not. White wall tires, it did, according to the buyer's order. Uh, torque flight automatic, it did. Trailer towing package light, it did not. Undercoating, it does. Vinyl roof, it does have that. Deluxe wheel covers, it does. Rally wheels, it does not. And that's it. And then here's the color I was telling you. Here's all your color codes here. Uh, so Mopar 74. If you don't know anything about this, let me know. Mopar Mania 74. Uh, frosty green metallic. So also, uh, that car came with two keys. Only two keys, but they were uh, copies. So I sent off for a couple brand new Chrysler keys. So I'll have these cut. I've actually got two sets. I've got another one over there on the desk I'm going to use for the other car out there. So these are really cheap. And then of course what better way to hold the keys than with a uh, original Chrysler Plymouth keychain. And this is an original one. I've seen them. This is what you got from the dealer when you bought a new car. That's exactly what you got. This is not a new copy of this. I don't know where this thing has been for the last 20, 25, 30 years, but I sent off for that on eBay. So that was really, really a nice thing because, you know, you do a search for a Plymouth keychain, and normally you find all those dumb ones that, you know, they're new ones, they're made in China or somebody like that, metal, and they say, you know, they're okay if you like those. I don't particularly care for them, but um, this is exactly what you got back then. This is probably what the keys would have been put on. Very neat. I love stuff like that. The details make it, man. At least to me. You know, everything you can do to turn back the hands of time back like it was, man, there's no other, there's nothing quite like it. It's like having a new car again, nearly. So, okay, guys. Well, long video again, but I got a lot of catching up to do. I missed you guys. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, all right, guys. Have a good one. Talk to you in another video. See you, bye. Let me try that again. See you, bye. Hit the wrong button.